welcome back or if this this is your first time watching one of my videos welcome i hope life is treating you well my name's claire and the purpose of this video is to help you to correct easily and really quickly in gimp any imperfections that might result from its automatic tiling process now if you saw my last video you'll have seen that you can get gimp to make really very nice tiles automatically from your paintings um, with just a few clicks. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link below. But just for the moment, I'm starting here with a tile I've created in GIMP of these yellow daisies. Well, I, I believe they're Rudbeckia hirtas or something, but I think they're of the daisy type family. And anyway, to business, if you look at this carefully, first at first glance, you think, oh yeah, that looks good, it's a tile. But if you look very carefully, there's some pieces here that I wouldn't be happy with on a repeat. For example, we've got some very weird overlapping going on there that you wouldn't see in real life. And also there, uh, yes, I spotted some up here as well. It's basically, every diagonal. Also, in my original painting, I did draw in what they do effectively look like eyes in these flowers, but it does look a bit too much like eyes for my taste here. It's, we don't really want Big Brother to be watching us from the flowers, so I also want to do something about this. Formerly, I used to take things into another program once I'd done the Thailand Gimp, but I've recently discovered that you don't have to can do it all from within this same free program. So let's get to it. Um, first option for doing this is this healing brush for, and it's like two plasters in across for healing. So actually, first of all, make sure that you have a brush to hand that, it, that the computer will think about when it's thinking about which brush to use. So by clicking on that, then, on the healing brush and first of all when I did this because if you use a healing brush in lots of other programs you just go straight to the picture don't you but in this case you have this is a sort of a slightly different procedure you press control and you click with your well I'm using the left hand side of the mouse but you mouse click on an area that you'd like to copy or take from in this case, I like that yellow there, and it's doing a very good job. So we've got that, and using that yellow to heal that line there. It's quite subtle, but if you click a few times, you see the line begins to disappear. That's one option. Apologies, I think that was just a creak of my desk there in the background. I don't know if the video picked it up. Uh, that was one option. The other option I found, which I like even better, is the clone tool. And this does work in a very similar way to other programs. Um, you click on the clone tool. Again, you have what the clone tool does is to select an area and that you like and stick it straight over an area that you're not so fond of. So just to demonstrate that, in order for it to select the area that we're taking from, I suppose it's a bit like a skin graft or something, though that's a bit macabre. Uh, I'm pressing control to pick the area. That'll be somewhere around there. And then, as you see, next time it does that. You see that line every time I click, I should probably have a slightly bigger brush actually, but every time I click it's reducing a little bit of that line there so there's less and less and less. Now I'm just going to do this quickly. In the cause of this being a reasonably interesting video, I'm just going to do this briefly. You of course with yours could take as much time as you like. So just to demonstrate the process again, control holding down control I click on the area I want to copy and copy it over the offending lines by clicking on the mouse and just like magic the lines begin to disappear. One more time click on the area I want and make the lines disappear 
and I'm going to carry on and also do some doctoring with these same tools of the centres of these flowers but rather than put you through watching these I'm going to finish this demonstration here and in the next video be showing you some tools to alter the colours and balance of this tile also in GIMP. Thank you for watching, I hope it was useful. Please do like and share and above all leave any comments about things you'd like to see because it's so nice to know if I'm providing things that are of real use to you and I'd much rather demonstrate something that you really want to know. Hopefully that was one of those things. Thank you again, have a great day and I'll see you soon.